Donald Kirk is a journalist and author who has written extensively on the North Korean crisis. He joins us now from Seoul. Thank you for your time. Firstly, what do you make of this high-level South Korean delegation headed to the North on Monday? Is this a, a symbolic meeting or could it lead to something more substantial? Well, certainly uh, South Korea and probably North Korea too is hoping that the uh, meeting will continue uh, to build on the momentum from the Winter Olympics that recently were held in the uh, South Korean uh, mountain resort area of Pyeongchang, uh, so at, at which North Korea sent a delegation, sent two delegations, in fact, one for the opening weekend and one for the closing. The closing weekend, uh, the delegation was, was uh, led by a vice chairman uh, of the North Korean ruling Workers' Party, uh, responsible, he's responsible for inter-Korean relations. So now uh, President uh, Moon uh, wants to look further into the invitation that was extended at the opening of the Olympics by the younger sister of North Korea's leader, Kim Jong-un. He wants to see uh, whether or not it's really possible for him to go to Pyongyang. Uh, there are certain serious conditions. One uh, condition that President Moon is setting is he wants North Korea to begin talks with the United States. North Korea says it's not going to talk about its nuclear program, but maybe uh, if the two can just sit down and talk and then figure out what uh, they will talk about without preconditions, maybe uh, the U.S. and uh, North Korea, in the South Korean view, will be able to talk. Nevertheless, these talks are also very significant because uh, North Korea is going to demand that uh, South Korea stop or the uh, joint military exercises with the U.S., that are due to begin after the Paralympics this month. They might be they might be held next month. And North Korea wants easing uh, of, if not removal, of UN sanctions. Mm. So, given the apparent thaw in relations we saw on display at the Winter Games and now these talks on Monday, do you believe that Pyongyang is genuinely interested in mending ties with the South? Oh, yes, I think South, uh, South, South Korea and North Korea are both interested in, in improving ties, but, uh, or if not mending ties. But North Korea wants to uh, use, this, uh, use this advance toward uh, mending ties to bring about uh, undermining the U.S.-South uh, uh, Korean uh, military relationship and wants the uh, South Korea to cancel these military exercises. That would be a huge victory for North Korea. Uh, frankly, I don't think South Korea is going to agree to that, uh, while uh, suggesting that North Korea talk to the United States. So I, uh, these talks uh, may uh, help to uh, define what North Korea really wants and what it's doing, but uh, may not result in a, a, a obvious agreement. None, nonetheless, they may lead to more talks later. So they're significant in that sense. Okay, Donald Kirk, we'll have to leave it there, but thank you for your insights.